That's our bike for the ride. A nice lovely red paint scheme. Sweet. Ideally, not the first thing that I was expecting to do on the Expo 40. First impressions are just the low end talk. So the plant is roughly 100 kilometers from our hotel stay. Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in your license, welcome to the new vlog. In case you're wondering where I am, amidst the nature in a riding gear, I'm here in Delhi doing a short uh, and sweet ride of the Harley Davidson X440 to the factory Harley Davidson slash Hero factory where they built. It's going to be a fun ride, hopefully. And this property is just amazing. I hope you can see the sunrise in the background too. Feels good to be away from the chaotic traffic and the noise from the city. Right. What's more exciting is the bike. This is the first time I'm riding it and I'm super excited to see how the low end torquey nature of this motorcycle is because that's what I heard a lot about. Baki sub, we'll get to see you on the road. Chala, let's go. And that's our bike for the ride. A nice lovely red paint scheme. More like a crimson red of the Harley Davidson X440. I wanted to pick this color over the mustard yellow or the blacks. But I think we're all ready. Let's go. Ideally, not the first thing that I was expecting to do on the Expo 40, but that's okay. Nice! It has some really low end grunt, which makes it fun. I wish the handlebar was slightly taller, so that you can uh, off-road uh, much more comfortably, even though it's not meant for off-roading. It's a roadster. So the plant is roughly 100 kilometers uh, from our hotel stay and it's a mix of state and national highways but the roads here are pretty good usually so that should in terms of time we should be there by 10 30 max first impressions are just the low end torque it has a lot of low end grunt and a very thumpy note to the exhaust which kind of makes you more connected to the motorcycle besides that design is a very subjective thing some people might like it some might not for me i think it's mixed I think I like some sections of the design of this motorcycle, some are okay, can be much lot better. But I like the instrument cluster here. It looks analog, but then it's part digital. Display quality is pretty good, most of the fonts are pretty sharp. So in that regard, you got that sorted. Suspension! I feel the rear suspension is tuned well. The front, somehow I feel the travel is less. In terms of brakes, it does stop progressively mostly not uh, in a very sharp and aggressive manner something that suits the character and nature of this bike it's a much more relaxed cruiser tourer roadster combination and in terms of transmission you can do clutchless upships feels smooth and i think the sweet spot of this motorcycle is between 80 to 100 it feels so smooth to ride there are hardly any vibrations this 80 cruising speed is pretty comfortable so i think this bike would be really fun in the mountains trucks and guards one reason for the traffic jams but so far this is not heating up as much as i thought it would because we have been uh, going in almost bumper to bumper traffic for the last 10 minutes This is the only guard section I think we'll get and it's kind of fun. I think this does handle decently well. It feels very light and nimble even though the weight is almost what 190 kilos. What is up? Sketch build right? I got your name yes. right. Yes. <laughs> but today I'm SPR Auto Media. Oh, SPR Auto Media. Yeah. So he's not riding yeah. with us. We he are is on the agency on the, today. He's on the agency managing us. So which side do you like? 
I like Honest. both. I like both. I get paid in both, na. <laughs> but did you miss it the toll though? Like riding yeah, a little bike. bit. On the bikes, you can just zoom past. In the car, you have to be in traffic. You have to hold the bag. You're also like. driving the truck, na. Yeah, yeah. I'm driving the truck, making sure you get all your shots. Hopefully. Fingers no, crossed. If the shots, shots are bad, you know whom to reach. No, no, not. <laughs> My job is to drive, make sure the team gets the shots. <laughs> so we have only three colors on display and I guess the only three colors available for sale too. The matte black, the mustard uh, yellow in matte and the glossy red. This is my favorite color. I wish this was also in matte. Would look really good. But if you ask me how the ride's running so far, it's short. But I think I know where this bike fits well. This is a perfect city bike with occasional touring. And I think this would be lovely in the mountains. Maybe if I have to change one thing, I would have more travel on the front suspension. Baki sir, I think it's good. We've been riding for the what last uh, 70 80 kilometers, and the saddle is pretty comfortable. So, if you like the design of this motorcycle, which I said is subjective, if you like the price, and if you're looking for something in the 400 cc category. I think this would be a really good motorcycle option to consider along with the other few that we have in the market. So this is probably my third factory visit. First was Ducati, then Aether and now it's the Hero Plant. Apparently 2500 100cc motorcycles get made each month and 250 of these get made. The biggest motorcycle manufacturer in the world and they get made here. One of the plants in India. As you can see, we are here in the Hero factory, and today is our chance to check out the Harley Davidson X440. So let's go and see how it is. Our tour of the Hero plant started by visiting the rooftop, which houses solar panels that generate up to 5.5 megawatts of electricity. Then we had a chance to check out their greenhouses, including aquaponics, which grow tomatoes and uh, cucumber for their canteen. Then we moved to the assembly line, and here all of us uh, got the first glimpse of how the X440 is made. Factory visits are always remarkable, and it was nice to see the attention to do detail that these guys give while making this motorcycle and some of the highlights of this plant are there are at least 30 percent of women workforce and there are no gender restrictions of where they can work and some of the techniques that are used also give credence to the reliability and strength of this uh, motorcycle just had a chance to see the assembly line of the harley davidson x440 one thing i can guarantee you is you can't put a finger in terms of the quality checks that they do any doubt you might have we have to believe that these guys are doing the best they can to just give you the best quality available out there. Hey guys, good morning. A late good morning though, because it's almost 10 o'clock. We chilled almost till 1, 1 in the night. A lot of uh, influencers here from across India. It was nice to get to know them, talk. It was a fun experience. So unlike the previous bike launches, press events, media events that I attended, this is one of those very relaxed ones because today's agenda is to just get up late, relax and then head to the airport to fly back home. For people from Delhi, this is just one hour away. So really love this western property in Sohna. Anyway, coming back to the X440 experience. After the plant visit, we just rode back. We stopped for a while to get some photo shoots done, but the return journey was pretty smooth. Uh, we didn't encounter my, any traffic as such. And the bike for me shines really well in two areas. One, overtaking trucks, buses, irrespective of the gear you're in. Just roll the throttle and it goes off. And in cities, man, it is addictive. Like this bike, engine is so capable. I mean, you don't miss that top end power because frankly speaking, even on our bigger bikes, we don't get to ride more than 120 for long stretches. And the sweet spot of this bike is around 110 in sixth gear. You can cruise all day here to that lovely exhaust note and just be connected with the road, the motorcycle, the environment and have a really good time. That's what I had at the end of the day. If you are in the market for a 400cc motorcycle, definitely take a test ride of the X440. There are a few things that you really would love about it. Let me have a quick breakfast and then most of the packing is done so it's just about get heading out. I have my taxi scheduled in another one and a half, two hours. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section. In case you're watching this night, have a good night and take care. Bye bye.